Today is Friday, July 5. It's about 8, 12 a.m. Eastern. Welcome to the Daily Levels. Thanks for tuning in. At 8.30, which is in about 18 minutes from now, there's a data release. The market could open a little differently from where they are currently. They're at 5.51.53 in the pre-market. After the market closes, most likely Saturday morning, I'll come back to this chart, analyze the aftermath, see what happened when the spiders hit these levels uh, for trades in the E-minis. I will not be taking any trades. I'll be traveling all day. But we'll see you after the market closes. Thanks. It is now Saturday, the day after. It's uh, almost 1.30 p.m. Market obviously closed on Friday. They reached all-time highs. Again, we can talk about some of that in volume by looking at a weekly chart. But what happened at two levels? Obvious that these two levels were hit and were important. How would the trades have been taken? Again, I did not take any trades today. Well, after 9.45, which was right here, the spiders were up here coming down into this 5.51.45 level, operating level 5.51.50, bounced up way more than a base hit. But four points is easy to get in the E-minis off this little move. And then when they got up to 554.40, which would have been the operating level to go short at this level, they hung out for a while, but really no drama. They came down and gave you a base hit after a few minutes of waiting this one out. And that level was important for a while, but that was really it. Again, I won't take a trade multiple times at the same level once it's been hit once. So two trades were possible if you had chosen to take trades on Friday. I think this is kind of interesting. This is the weekly chart, just showing where they closed pretty high up, all time highs. They hit 555.05 as a high, closed well above the highs of the previous two weeks, but look where the volume was. I mean, granted, we had the holiday, Independence Day holiday, but they haven't been this low on weekly volume in quite a while. So we need volume to get some type of you know trend change or some kind of bigger move. So they keep grinding higher. They keep, you know, the, the path of least resistance is generally higher, sideways to higher. But we'll just take each day as it comes and just focus on the daily levels. Fairly straightforward on the tracking log. Here are the two levels you could have pulled eight E-mini points out for two base hits. I didn't take any trades because I was traveling all day yesterday and really nothing all week because of the Independence Day holiday and other days I was just too busy to trade. So, But you can take a look at the log and the averages and where we are to date. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. We'll come back next week, do this all over again. Have a great weekend.